What up gamers, welcome back to Zorch, this is DJ, and today we're going to take a look at a really cool indie shooter called Call of Spring, Squirrel Warfare. This is really cool, this is developed by New Plague, the same developer as another really cool indie platformer called Guthood, which we covered on Gamers Bay channel. This is really interesting, it's got kind of like a 16-bit uh, theme to it. Really strange creatures, very, very busy shooter. Um, at times, there's so much going on in the screen that it's hard to follow. But the controls are pretty good, it's pretty easy to play, and the power ups are pretty cool. Let's get this acorn up here. Now we got fire. Got there's bombs as well. This is my favorite weapon right here because it's so widespread. You got these stars. And there's end bosses in here too, and they're pretty obscure, kind of hard to explain. I like the music in this game. A lot of uh, like techno house type beats. So this developer, Mutant Leg, does a lot of uh, indie shooters like this. This is actually a Flash game, believe it or not. And I know that Flash is pretty much being phased out, but uh, this is, it's, it's really interesting to see that people are still developing browser-based games uh, in Flash. Because the trend now is pretty much to HTML5 compliant uh, games which will work on mobile and desktop devices. Lightning strikes. Some of the levels move up, some move down. Very fast. Shoot, I've got enemies all over me. Let's get over here and get this other uh, weapon. So anyways, yeah, this game is free. It's free to play. We're going to include a link below in the description. Definitely worth checking out because it doesn't cost any money. You can play it right on the web, right in your browser. And now we got bombs. These are pretty cool, but they don't blow up until they hit something.
guys, if you like shooters, definitely check this out. And this is Ned Boss right here. I need to get on the other side of the note because there's an ankle. Some stages you, you move up, some down. Um, the concept pretty much remains the same. This, these ones where you're moving down can be a little challenging because if you hit an enemy, it kind of bumps you up. I got stuck in this part earlier because I kept getting bumped up to the top. Oh my god. Yeah, there's just so much, like, points like this. There's so much going on on the screen. Yeah! Oh, I died. And there's some glitches in this game too. Uh, there's a few spots where I actually got stuck, and that just happened a second ago. It, you can, like it basically gets stuck on the edge of the screen, and you can only jump, move up or down in a few small parts. But it hasn't happened to me too many times. There you can see I when I hit an enemy I ended up getting bumped up. Oh my god, oh my god. Give me a weapon. There you go. Yeah! Ah. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna get this time. Yeah, it can get uh, pretty tricky to get through levels like this. Having the laser definitely helps. Come on, go. I think I'm almost, yeah, I made it. Nice.
definitely an obscure game. I've never played a game before where you play as a squirrel <laughs> that shoots like this. Oh wow. And there's one of those glitches. You can see I just like glitched out of the screen. That does happen in here. Yeah, if you're used to playing with the mouse and keyboard, this is pretty easy to pick up. I'm an avid flash game player, so I've gotten used to playing with the mouse and keyboard. I don't play PC games so much this way, just the flash and the games. Of course, there's still a lot of PC gamers out there. You know how they are about their I've actually made it so far. I did a test run just to check out the game and see if it was worth reviewing. Um, this is definitely worth playing. I would almost pay for a game like this. I'm surprised the, the uh, developer gave this away for free. I could see people paying like five or ten bucks for this, you know, just for the experience. Wow, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah! So anyways, that is Call of Spring. Very simple to play, uh, very easy concept to pick up. You just shoot the acorns, unlocks weapons, a lot of running and jumping, very typical of an action adventure platformer, shooter type game. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and until next time, take care.